So this here is a uh, blood under the microscope and uh, maybe you notice something unusual here. Maybe you can see those uh, bluish squiggly lines. This is known as, uh, these are known as trypanosomas and trypanosomas are a pair of parasites. They're protozoans that uh, reproduce uh, inside the blood of humans and animals who are infected and uh, it causes uh, African sleeping sickness, a disease which you don't want to get. But luckily, um, it's not a very common one. As a matter of fact, it's uh, known as one of those neglected um, tropical diseases. And towards the end of the video, I'll be counting them as well. So you might want to watch until the end. Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. And uh, this here is uh, the slide that I used to take a picture of those parasites. It's a commercially prepared slide, so luckily it is safe. I do not want to um, put uh, real human blood, uh, which is infected under the microscope, of course. But you can see that there are large numbers uh, of these uh, purply colored squiggly lines. You can see, of course, uh, the red blood cells on here. They can be quite easily identified. There are many of them, of course, in a small drop of blood. Um, there are also white blood cells. They stain purple because um, yeah, the chemical that has been used to stain it stained them purple. And also the trypanosomas, the parasite, is also stained purple. And you can recognize uh, them quite well uh, by the shape. Now, I did a little bit of research, of course, uh, and there was lots of information available. And uh, it is not a disease that you want to get. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, they, these parasites are able to reproduce inside the blood of a human being and also in animals. And they're spread from person to person or from animal to animal um, over flies. The so-called CC fly is responsible for this. Um, and uh, under the microscope, you can actually quite easily identify them and see them and that's actually a way how you can um, diagnose it. Well I put uh, this uh, permanent slide under the microscope um, and uh, I looked at them. Unfortunately I was not able to see them move because for safety reasons of course um, I do not want to use uh, fresh blood but I used a uh, prepared slide here. Now the symptoms um, of African sleeping sickness, well are huge. Um, there are two phases. Um, there is uh, the first phase where you get fever, headache, and so on. Very um, unspecific uh, symptoms. And then um, after some time, the parasite starts to reproduce and it starts to enter the nervous system. And this is uh, then when the second phase starts. And this is uh, then when you can get another load of symptoms. And these are the neurological symptoms. And uh, yeah, this is also not uh, nice uh, to have because one of the signs is that it reverses the sleeping cycle. So people are not able to sleep at night, but they're awake um, at night, but uh, they are tired during the day. But there are also a whole range of other symptoms that you don't want to get. Now, this picture over here is uh, done with an electron microscope. Uh, so it's not one of the things that I've uh, made because I don't have those um, electron microscopes. But you can see that there is a nice uh, three-dimensional nature um, of, the, uh, of the parasite. A picture of the CC fly, uh, which uh, bites uh, yeah, a person and then is able to transfer the parasite from person to person. And then um, after a couple of weeks, um, yeah, the symptoms start. And if you just look at the specimen here uh, under the microscope, look, the number of those trypanosomas is really high. Okay. Now, I don't know if they have actually grown them in the blood sample. So in order to make a microscope slide or whether this is actually blood directly taken from a person, um, I don't know about this, but if this really were the number of uh, parasites inside the person's blood, then I think this is really a very high number. And for this reason, I decided, okay, uh, I just want to determine now the ratio between um, those parasites and the red blood cells. So I made a printout and then I started to count them. Of course, it took me a couple of minutes. And so I generally recommend if you want to do any counting of specimens, um, yeah, then always print it out and then use a pen or pencil to check off. So I made a tick for every 10 cells that I counted. I counted first the red blood cells. Um, I counted the white blood cells. There were significantly fewer of those. And then, of course, uh, also the trypanosomas. And uh, yeah, after about 15 or 20 minutes and a little bit of math, um, I was able to determine, well, that about, um, yeah, 
I would say almost 78% are red blood cells and about 20, 21% are those trypanosomas. And the number of white blood cells is far less than 1%. And this is what we actually also would expect. The number of white blood cells are significantly lower than the number of red blood cells here. Yeah, I think uh, this is uh, simply a quick uh, little video where I would like to introduce, wanted to introduce to you this uh, rather um, worrisome parasite. If you're interested in other videos where we put blood under the microscope, uh, here they are um, and if you especially want to see some of the white blood cells move around yeah quite nice to see under time lapse happy micro hunting as always see you around next time bye bye